if you only knew the power of the dark side. It is your destiny. Hello everyone, it is June 8th, 2014, and I'm bringing you a story by Think Progress. And as we know, we had the other billionaire that was from the DuPont family, accused of molestation and receiving no jail time. This is another billionaire who has molested his daughter, his stepdaughter. And this is written by Aviva Shen. And this is a Wisconsin billionaire. His name is Samuel Curtis Johnson III, heir to the S.C. Johnson Cleaning Supplies Empire. And he will serve possibly less than 60 days as a sentence in jail and a fine of up to $6,000. It says that the Johnson told the police that he was a sex addict and touched his daughter inappropriately 15 to 20 times starting when she was age 12. And it says here that the daughter told the mother about the abuse in order to protect her younger sister and he confessed when the mother confronted him. A felony charges up to 40 years in prison. However, the prosecutor said that they had to downgrade the charges to a misdemeanor because the girl and her mother would not cooperate. Since when has that ever stopped them from actually going after a sexual predator or a, or a child molester? Uh, ever since the child molesters got billions of dollars, I assume. So here we have a prosecutor standing down on his duty, which he should be held to task to that in Wisconsin and voted out of office for no confidence in his ability to prosecute crimes in that district. So I'm going to leave a link at the bottom and if anyone knows they are all in cahoots together like I said the child molesters, the rapists, the sexual abusers they put those people in charge and they reap the rewards of putting those people in charge on you and your children. So it's good to get them out of office when you can. That's how our political system is run. This is Take the Gate. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Signing out.